That's why Dallas is looking at its first heat advisory of the season. Sam. All right, big news. Hey, Jen, grab a cup of coffee. Uh, we're about to we're about to talk about something you probably haven't heard of before. A strange and unexpected discovery has scientists and doctors and some of us scratching our heads. After the deadly Joplin, Missouri tornado back in 2011, more than a dozen people contracted a life threatening fungus that normally can't impact humans. Four years later, doctors and scientists are still looking for some answers. Jennifer Frazier is a writer for Scientific American's blog. She's covering the story and joins us live from Texas this morning. Uh, good morning. First of all, thank you so much for being with us this morning, Jennifer. And let's talk about this. So a fungus that we believe may have been connected to the tornado that doesn't normally affect people. Talk. Let's go. Uh, well, this fungus uh, normally occurs in the environment. It's a, a natural part of our world, and it likes to eat dead plants, normally. Um, and you'd find it typically in soil, water, anywhere that you would find decaying plants. This is so bizarre. So, I mean, now we've got some cases of it. So what do we think is happening with these people? Well, what is probably happening is during the tornado, the tornado is coming up across a place where the fungus is occurring naturally and it gets picked up or sucked into the tornado during the storm. And little pieces of that fungus get injected deep into people's bodies when they get hit by flying debris. Whoa, and, and probably in, even in the air. I mean, I, I'm thinking, you know, because all of that's swirling around you, you're ingesting that, there's a lot of debris that's flying around. So you're saying definitely embedded in the skin. Do we think it could be inhaled as well or have we not figured that out yet? I think there are a few cases, a very, very few cases where it's been inhaled, but we know that pretty much the majority of people in natural disasters who get this fungus have sustained fairly serious trauma and usually more than one injury. All right, so what are they doing to combat it? Since it's not normally in people, how are we treating these people? Well, in order to treat this disease, you need two things. One is a drug that fights this kind of fungus, which we do have. And two, you need surgery. Um, surgeons have to go in and cut away the area where the fungus is killing your flesh. And also they have to cut away a bit of, of uh, skin ahead of the fungal infection. It's a pretty brutal process. Wow, okay, and what can we do to warn people and get them ahead of this? Are there only certain parts of the country or could this be in every tornado everywhere? In theory, it could be in every tornado everywhere, but the good news is that you can do the same things that you would do to protect yourself from a tornado to protect yourself from this fungus. Find a storm shelter, a safe room, or a basement, and if you can protect yourself from injuries, you'll be protecting yourself from the fungus. Oh, fascinating story, and I gotta tell you, it, we just, we just I, I don't mean to say it this way, but scratch the surface of it. Jennifer Frazier with Scientific American, thank you so much for talking thank about you. something that's a very, very serious thing that we've just discovered. If you'd like to learn more, head over to scientificamerican, why wouldn't you, .com. And don't forget, you can go in depth on the latest science topics the way we do when you pick up the August issue of Scientific American on newsstands right now. Fascinating stuff, right, Jen? Yeah, it's kind of interesting, the little disconnect with that story. Uh, the fungus comes from the decaying plants, which right. you would get after tornado debris. So if you've got, the, the moral of the story is if you've got a cut or something that's open, but you better also, cover it. Also, right? the decaying debris that lives in the earth and deep in the earth, it's being picked up and right. injected in right. you during the storm. So it's one of those things that happens that we're just trying to figure it out. There's your forecast, wow. Joplin, we'll be right back.